What's up guys and welcome back to another G35 video. In today's video we're going to be talking about three things that you can do to your car to help with maintenance on the G35. So now these three things vary from the simplest life hack on an oil dipstick on these G35s to where the cabin filter is because a lot of people don't really know where it is so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that. And my favorite one that's a really cool one is going to be Diag mode on the G35 so definitely a cool one and I'll stay tuned for that one. Alright so we're gonna go ahead and take out the oil dipstick sometimes it gets really hard especially when you have a newer oil this is broken in when you have newer oil it gets a little bit difficult to read especially because it is in like an awkward position you kind of have to shimmy it out and then shimmy it back in we're gonna go ahead and sand the little grid so that we can get a more accurate measurement and when we're moving around the dipstick to take it out it is in like a really tight spot get a better reading we're gonna use some 3m 80 grit you can use anything you really have that's a lot more coarse and fine I'm just gonna go ahead and sand this a little bit just make it a lot easier so once you're done, it'll look like this, and now that's gonna help a lot more with the oil sticking to this. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it with the microfiber, and it should be good to go. So this is a lot better just because you can actually see where the oil stops and on the other one it's kind of harder to see but this is definitely going to help you out. Obviously it's not the prettiest but this will help you with seeing your oil a lot better. So with G35s and 350Cs they like to burn oil so this is just an easy way to check your oil and stay on top of it. So this is definitely something you should do just because the VQ engines are the way they are. So now this part is going to be showing you where the cabin filter is located on your G35. So this is the glow box the top portion bottom portion so you're gonna go ahead and open up your bottom portion and there's gonna be four screws that you want to remove they're gonna be right here so these are the four screws you're gonna remove and once you remove them it pops this off and I'll show you guys from there So now with the four screws removed, you can go ahead and just literally pop it down and it should just all pop down. So now with it popped down, you can see right here, this white little panel right here, you can go ahead and pop it off and show cabin filter is inside of here. This is my cabin filter that I have. I replaced it not too long ago, so I'm not gonna replace it, but you should replace your cabin filter according to Infinity once a year. So make sure you're on top of that. And then once you're done, go ahead and put your cover back on and you can put this back in. So cabin filters are one of those things you tend to forget about. You don't really replace. So that's why I'm telling you guys where it is and everything because a lot of people just don't replace them. It's just a good safety measure to just change your cabin filter if you haven't already. And now you know how to do it, so there's no excuse. Thomas. What? Try to remove the oil cap. I put that snug with my left hand. It, it should be pretty easy to remove. <laughs> You got a breaker bar? <laughs> we got some uh, needle nose pliers over there. <laughs> Are you actually trying? My, my heart rate's going up here, let's see. <laughs> Dude, does anybody else have that problem? I'm, I'm sure everybody has this problem. How the hell do you guys remove it? I always have to use needle nose pliers to remove it. How the hell do you remove this with your hands? It was actually really on. <laughs> 81, it went up by 11, dude. Holy shit. So we just made a little TikTok. I wanted to try out TikTok. Don't judge me. I don't know what I'm doing on TikTok. I did make a TikTok on the G35 and I thought it was pretty funny, so I'm gonna play it right now. So now this is the last one I want to show you guys. What this does is it goes basically on a little quick checkup on the whole car. It tests your brake lights, it tests your headlights, the wipers, a couple other things. If you want to do like a quick walk around and see, you know, if your lights are working, if your brake lights are working, you can go ahead and do that as well. So the way to do the diag mode on the G35, we're going to put the key into the ignition and put it on the on position for all the dash lights turn on. We're going to press this button. In 10 times pretty fast you want to do this as quick as possible once you do that you're gonna go ahead and turn off the car and then put it back on on and if you do it correctly the car will honk at you telling you you're good so we're gonna try right now and you can see how it is put it in on my lights are on so I'm gonna go do it 10 times one two three four five six seven eight nine ten go ahead and turn it off 
turn it back on, it honked. Now I can get out of the car. The wipers should go on like that. Notice how there's nobody in the driver's seat. No one is touching it. The daytime running lights are on. Cycles through the high beams. There are the low beams. So it toggles through. The fans are kicking on now. And now we can actually make sure if both fans are working. Both fans are working and they're going on high and they toggle through low and high just to make sure that they're working on both. So now it does this three times. It toggles through everything three times. So you can see the tail lights are on now. It's making sure that they're working. But yeah, this is like a really cool feature. I'm sure a lot of people don't know about this feature. So there you guys have it. This can help you out in case you have a suspicions that your fans aren't working and for whatever reason they're not kicking on. Maybe your wipers aren't working. Maybe it can be your switch on your steering wheel so that can be a problem in itself but when you put in diag it works so it's a cool little thing to do sporadically if you wanted to check up on your g35 or 350z it works on both it's a cool thing to do all right guys so that's gonna be all for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this one and i hope you guys learned a little bit about your car if you didn't already these are cool things and useful things to know just for your car and in general to help you maintain your car so that's kind of the goal with this video so leave a like if you did enjoy this video subscribe if you're new around here plenty of g35 content coming up and we also have a bunch of g35 content already so if you want to go ahead and take a look at any of our previous videos go ahead and do so but with that being said guys i'll see you in the next video peace